Hello everyone and welcome to Steno 24-7. I wanted to make a quick video to show you how I use Plover, which is an open stenograph um, project that is free. And you can go to www.plover.com and get this free program which will help you with your writing. And what it is, it's kind of like Case Catalyst or um, one of the other writers that you might be paying for right now. Um, writing software, that's what all it is. It's just writing software, but it is free and it is awesome. So I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how I have it set up. Now this is my machine, Stenograph 8000 is what I have. And this is what is in the back of my machine. This key right here, this nine pin, pin adapter is in the back of my machine. I want to make sure that you guys get it. Hold on. This. Can you see that? It's coming out of my machine. It's somewhat of a glare. Here's my machine, and this is what is coming out of my machine. This nine pin adapter, you'll need one of those. This cord that comes out of the machine comes down here, and it is connected to a key span connector here. It is called key span. I got it with my machine. I was lucky I didn't have to buy one. But this is what you're going to need along with this stenograph nine pin adapter as well. And then what comes out of that is this pin, this cord right here comes out. And that on the end of that is this which connects to my computer. Got it? you have any questions I can do another video and show you even more now I just want to get started writing I have Plover pulled up this is Plover over here is suggestions which comes from here is suggestions which comes from here if you click on here you get this and if you click on paper tape here you get this box and this box gives you two uh, gives you two options paper or raw stenner steno see the raw let me see here see the paper and see the raw so today I'm writing in paper I'm gonna keep that click that back to paper and I'm going to show you now how this works I will play one of my dictations and you will see if this works properly this time and I know that it is because I can see my strokes already coming up so all I'm going to do here Play one of my videos and write. Now, let's get down to business. This will be case number eight, two voice, 1,000 words on the subject of personal injury at two, 120 words per minute. Let me say that again. 120 words per minute. Ready? That's right. Question, will you please state your name for the record? Answer, my name is Richard Farwell. Question, do you know the claimant in this case? Answer, that is right, I do. Question, for how long have you known him? Answer, I would say that I have known him for about five years, something like that. Question, did you ever work with him? Answer, I worked with him at the Watkins 
Iron Works question. Is that located here in the city? Answer, yes, that is right. Question, did you sign up a contract of employment with the Stonebreaker Company, Inc. at the same time the claimant did? Answer, that is right. Fisher Island. Question, now, pursuant to entering into that employment, did you go with a group of men that went to Fisher Island? Answer, that is right, Fisher Island. Question, you two men went together to that place of employment. Answer, we were in the same outfit. Question, was a part of that a journey on a ship? Answer, eight days. Question, what was the name of that boat? Answer, I don't remember the name, but I can look it up and let you know. Question, can you recall when you left on this ship? Answer, it was in 2006, June. Question, after you got to your place of destination, did you and the claimant work together? Answer, yes, we did. Question, did you work with him on June 24, 2006? Answer, yes. Question, do you recall on an occasion, Mr. Farwell, that the claimant was called upon to repair a cook stove to be installed in the mess hall for the use of the men at that place of employment? Answer, we made a stove for them because they didn't have one. Question, did you help him in making that stove? Answer, that is right. I welded it together. He planned it, laid it out, and I welded it together. Question, as part of the construction of that stove, were you obliged or did you go to a lower deck on the boat and look for materials and parts for that stove? Answer, that is right. Question, and you were with the claimant at the time? Answer, yes. Question, in other words, you went down to the lower deck together? Answer, that is right. Question, will you please tell us your purpose in going down there? Answer, certainly. We went down there to get steel to make this stove. It was sheet steel. We got it down in the hold of the ship. Back in. Question, what happened to the claimant at the time you were down there looking for this steel? Answer, well, at that particular time, I don't think anything happened to him. He got hurt when we were going to the mess hall with the steel. Question, can you tell us just how that injury that you just referred to took place? Answer, there was a pipe there. The way it was built, a man couldn't walk under it, not straight up. We were carrying the material through, and he bumped his head, walked right into the pipe, not exactly right into it. He tried to duck the pipe. He came up and hit himself. He came up underneath the pipe and bumped his head. I was walking behind him. Question, this was in full sight of your vision. Answer, that is right. Question, do you mean to say he raised with his head and struck the pipe? Answer, he tried to dodge the pipe. The pipe, I would say, was about five or six inches too low for an ordinary man to walk under. He tried to duck it and it and came up too quick and stunned himself on the pipe. Question, as it appeared to you, would you say it was an ordinary blow or otherwise? Answer, I would say hard. He complained of being dizzy and didn't feel so good when we were around trying to build the stove. Question, immediately after he struck the pipe, how did he act and how did it affect him? Answer, he was sort of dazed, like anyone hit with a blow. Question, did he say anything in that dazed condition 
or right afterwards answer something to the effect it nearly floored him something like that question do you know if he was unconscious answer no he wasn't he was just in a dazed condition question do you did you continue working or rather did he continue working with you in the construction of the stone answer yes he did he went on the job on the barge and they brought him back in a very sick condition about two days later question did you see him when they brought him back on the barge brought him back to the ship that was stationed there answer yes i did he was in the boat's hospital for about two or three weeks afterwards question did you talk to him on any occasion when you were around the ship's hospital answer i went to see him once while he was there went once question did he make any complaint to you about anything when you went to visit him answer he said he hadn't felt good since the time he bumped his head he also said he was having trouble with his ear that it had gone haywire question did you notice anything about his ear answer no i didn't see anything only that he had cotton in it question did he make any other complaints to you answer only that he didn't feel well question did he say anything about experiencing any pain anywhere answer yes he said he had headaches question anything else answer dizzy spells he said he felt dizzy most of the time question how long after you arrived there with him was he returned home answer i would say about a month question did you see him at the time he left or at about that time answer yes i did question did you have any talk with him on that occasion answer he said that he was going home that he was sick and wanted to go home question did he say anything further about his condition or about the nature of his sickness answer well his illness complaints were about his head and his ear question did he ever make similar complaints about his head and his ear before you men started on the trip to reach your place of employment or before he struck his head answer no he did not question as far as you know he didn't have any injury of any kind at the time he left for your destination answer no question you didn't observe any answer no question when was the first time you saw him after your re return answer it must have been about five weeks ago when i first saw him i am not too sure of my memory on that and there you have it let me stop this Welcome, everyone. okay so now that i have written it i can go back scroll through read this and what is also amazing i can if you see the icons at the bottom i can save this and even read it later if i don't have time so if i click that and it comes up steno notes i don't know if you can see that but let me help you it says steno notes and it puts the date there for you so in case you can't don't have time to read your notes right then you can save them so i'm going to click save and they are saved and over here are my suggestions that they want to give me for writing a, a, any particular word that I just wrote. So I just wanted to share this with you before the hurricane. I want to show you how I practice. Um, and I might do that. I'll do that at 140 and then 160 on, on a whole tape. 
and then go back and see how well I did reading my notes, getting my my you know my memory down for my briefs. So this is an awesome, 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 awesome program, and I hope you go and get it today. www.plover.com, and I'm getting ready for the hurricane. I'm in Florida. Hurricane Irma is on its way. So I just wanted to give you a quick um, run through um, of this awesome program and give me a thumbs up if you like this. If you want to see me um, write my notes even more, um, even, you know, um, so you can see um, how I write and how I practice, you know, I'll start um, sharing even more of that with you. Because if I had more time, what I would really like to do is like go through this with you and show you, you know, all of my strokes, my missed strokes and stuff. You can see it. You can see it all. And um, read this back with you. So maybe I'll start implementing this into my stenograph program on my channel. I think that might be helpful for you guys to see other people writing and how they write and how smooth they write. Even at 120 and 140 and 160. And maybe you can come with me on my journey and I'll follow you on your journey. And we can all follow each other on our journey to 250 words per minute. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed today, please do so. Thank you and have a wonderful day.